begin. The three intentful corrections, the three mindful alignments, body, breath, and mind. First, turn your attention to the body. Lengthen yourself by sinking towards the earth and rising towards the sky. Bend your knees slightly, your feet are together, just slightly separated, facing forward, knees slightly bent. Lengthen your spine. Lift your head up and allow your shoulders to relax downward. The arms are relaxed, but also alert. And there's just a little space between your arms and the body. And you can create this space by focusing on your elbows and moving your, imagine that you're lengthening your arms by allowing them to come out of the body. Allow the arms to open the chest laterally. So you are rising up, the head on top, raising, and sinking down by sinking down into your knees and allowing the sacrum, the back part of the pelvis, to drop downward. Second intentful correction or second mindful alignment, the breath. First, to notice the breath. Just simply turn your attention in the direction of the breath. And notice the pacing. And this is something you can do anytime, anywhere. Notice your breathing pace. Notice your breathing pace now. And then, on purpose, with intent, deepen your breath. Deep and slow and relaxed the breath. In mind-body practice, Qigong and Tai Chi, yoga and meditation, the breath is essential and deep, ultimately, perhaps not in the beginning, but ultimately, the breath becomes a power tool for managing the nervous system and cultivating the capacity to focus the mind and sustain that focus. Deep and slow and relaxed, your breath shifts the function of the nervous system. It's amazing, really, how many functions within the body are modified when you decide to take a deep breath, even if just occasionally. And so throughout the practice, link the breath to the movements slowly, or simply take a deep breath now and then. Third intentful correction, mind and mind focus. There are many ways to manage the mind through forms of meditation. In this program, our primary focus for directing the mind or focusing the mind or cultivating the mind or controlling the mind or deciding where to place the mind is to focus on what's happening now. So notice where your feet are, notice where your hands are, check with your shoulders. Remember that point of focus of allowing your head to be on top of the body, lengthening the spine, the arms, 
in such a way as to open a space around the heart. Each of these is happening now. Your breath, remembering to take a deeper breath, that's happening now. Open your eyes and notice what's around you, that's happening now. Close your eyes and notice that there are some waves of dark and light that present themselves, that is happening now. Appreciating and being grateful, even if it's for something in the past or something that you uh, are aware of that will be happening soon. That appreciation and that gratitude are happening now. Probably the foundation and ultimate underlying capacity that is developed in Qigong and Tai Chi is the capacity to decide, to choose the focus of the mind. This is known as the difference between the true mind or the eternal mind or the bright mind or the clear mind. And that mind that is darting in different directions, sometimes under the influence of excitement, other times under the influence of anxiety, seeking events from the past and the future to focus on either with regret or excitement. And the goal of Qigong is to level the nervous system, balance the nervous system, bring into harmony the function of the body and the organs. And that happens spontaneously when the mind is focused on the present.